In the following video I would like to show you how to model a coffee mug with Gumball and Open Subdivision on an Apple computer in Y106. The aim of the video is that you are able to transfer my videos which are all done on a PC with a Macintosh interface. After you installed uh, Y06 on your Apple Macintosh, the first thing you should do, you should change the language and you can also change a little bit the look and feel. And uh, you just go into options, go into Sprache in this terms, language, and change it to English. That's the first thing you should do. The other thing is uh, you should go to themes and just change from Wino for Mac to Wino for Windows. So certain things uh, work a little bit more like uh, with the PC version and then you just restart uh, Wino. For this exercise I want to work in centimeters. I just go into file and into uh, settings and here I can change the units in this terms from millimeters to centimeters. I just see uh, scale um, yes but I didn't draw anything so it doesn't matter. So absolute tolerance is 0 0.001 so this is uh, already uh, really uh, precise. Zero, zero, um, a one would be uh, also fine. This is more precise than a tenth of a millimeter. But anyhow, um, uh, you can change it here. The grid I also would like to change. I would like to have a grid count of 50. If you zoom out, you can just see what's happening. I just enter 50 and uh, it's getting smaller. I want to have it in centimeters and uh, every tenth uh, should be minor grid lines so this is absolutely fine and you can change these kind of things under files. Like in my video how to model a coffee mug we just start with a simple box. I just enter in the command line of my Apple interface 0, comma, uh, sorry, 10, comma, 10, press the enter key and here's my first point and then I enter add means alt and my add symbol uh, 10 comma 10 and then I do my second point I enter my height like 10 centimeters and here we go I draw my uh, box and um, the difference to the PC is if you want to change the viewport to shaded view, you have to press a white mouse click. So you need a mouse with three uh, buttons, white mouse click, and you just went to uh, shaded. Apart from this, you can um, double uh, perspective and with a double click again, uh, you go out of the full screen and this is quite similar. Okay, let's create the starting point of my coffee mug. Uh, I want to uh, select the top surface and for this you have to press the command key and the shift key and then click on the first um, of the top surface and with this you can select um, uh, single surfaces also uh, this one and also deselect it with a double click again. Uh, if I want to extrude the surface I have to click the point of this gumball um, pivot and for this you have to switch on the gumball. Really important, uh, the gumball is uh, selected and you click on the little dot and you just enter two, like two centimeters and press uh, the return key and, and then you already extended this. I just go back again with command key Z and uh, I do one more thing. I just select it again and I just press the arrow not on the dot but higher and I press two centimeters and you can just see that I just extruded it. I go back again and I select with my command shift uh, the top surface and um, so uh, sorry that was my mistake it was not shift. I enter again two centimeters and uh, here we go. So the next thing I want to do is I want to um, insert my surface and uh, be able to uh, create my hole. The next thing I need, I need to have an insert of uh, um, one centimeter around the whole object and if you want to scale it you have to press this, uh, the shift key and if you don't press the shift key you only scale in one direction so I press the shift key and I just enter 0 0.9 and with this you just scaled it uh, down uh, in a uniform way on all uh, on all sides 
And uh, the next thing I would just like to move my surface and snap it to uh, to the outside corners. Uh, you have to uh, need to have the gumball activated, and you have to do another thing. If I just move it, you can just see. Um, Oh, it snaps and the reason why it snaps it only snaps with me and probably not with you the reason why it snaps and I just go back by the way is because I set up one thing already before I tried it what you have to do is you have to press a uh, right mouse click and uh, on the PC you have to press it long but here you have to press it fast and you have to uh, activate snappy debugging what you have to uh, what you have uh, activated when you started um, uh, while the first on the Mac is smooth dragging, go to snappy dragging, otherwise you can't snap the corners. And uh, if you uh, switch this on, you can just see that you can just uh, snap to every selected corners and I just choose the corner not close to my... Um, it doesn't have to be on the same line, it can be anywhere. I just have to find the right height to, uh, for uh, for snapping. So I want to extrude it 9 centimeters um, down um, and I just enter minus 9 centimeters and press uh, the enter key and in perspective I just show a change from shaded to ghosted and this already looks uh, looks quite good. What I didn't show at the beginning is uh, if you choose your gumball, uh, it's really important in your object snapping that you entered already a value. For example, I had uh, chosen end, near and point. Uh, near is probably not a really good idea, but uh, midpoint is probably uh, better because near um, with near you can't uh, uh, draw precisely anymore, depends on what you want. And starting from now, I'm just a little bit faster now and I just uh, finished to the point uh, like uh, in my video. So I just uh, extrude the surface, I just uh, click uh, on this dot and this time I say minus two centimeters uh, because of the direction of the green arrow and uh, I just uh, choose this surface again. I hold my shift key and I just... Um, mm, Ah, and this time so I wanted to do it differently, I remember. Uh, I just uh, scale it in, um, uh, in the y direction and uh, then in uh, the z direction. Somewhere like this. I think this is how I did it in my video. And you can just see it's not a good idea to have uh, um, snapping on. So I just uh, say here in my menu uh, disable all and that's better so I just uh, scale it somewhere like this so uh, I enable it again and now I move this surface to the front and I have my snapping that's a really big uh, handle by the way I'm not really sure uh, I make it a little bit smaller Oops, somewhere like this. And I should have had disabled it again because uh, there was a snapping uh, going on. Not a good idea. So sometimes disable is good. So this is uh, what I wanted to do. And again, I just uh, select my surface and I will extrude this and uh, just roughly like this and I select the middle surface and uh, here again I just uh, extrude it uh, minus two centimeters somewhere like this I choose my top surface and here I just enter a value with shift key of 0 0.7 somewhere like this and uh, move it again up to this level and uh, same here I select my surface and I just shift key um, uh, no sorry I made a mistake I first want to extrude it and this terms is plus two centimeters somewhere like this and then I select the surface and I press my shift key and say 0 0.7 and I move it back again somewhere like this 
Excellent, I delete this surface. I delete uh, also with shift command key this surface. And uh, the next thing, I will close these uh, um, these surfaces and uh, just do it like this. I uh, move this up to uh, this point. Go and see it properly. Important, uh, I deselect my um, uh, my line. Really important. I select the next one. Uh, everything is better explained in my video how to model a coffee mug. I just want to get to the same point like in the video. So always deselect otherwise it does not work. Everything else is explained. Uh, and uh, I just uh, um, extrude this. I deselect again. Uh, important. And uh, here I select the top line, the top edge and I just uh, extrude it to this edge and I think this already looks quite good. So the last thing we want to do, we want to uh, transform it to a smooth freeform model and we use a subdivision and if you use subdivision uh, you can't do it with an open poly surface, you have to do it with a closed poly surface. So what we do is we select the coffee mark and we uh, hold our shift key and select also the additional surface which uh, we're still not a part of this so uh, actually the surfaces we do and also this one and we just go to join and here we go we can just see we have a closed solid poly surface so really important you had to select the additional surfaces before so the last thing we do, we just want to use the new command uh, to sub D. Uh, I have to transform my model to uh, a mesh uh, model. I just enter mesh and um, so this is the advanced models, it's just fewer polygons and I just say okay, I just move my uh, open sub model to the right side and I just select my closed uh, mesh and I enter the command to sub D. Uh, did it input? Yes. I just say uh, done. It looks different than the PC version. I'm not really sure why. From my point of view, uh, it doesn't deal so well with the mesh, stru mesh structure. It's not really as smooth and nice like with the PC model, but I can't make it better right now and I think this is fine for the start. So the very few last things, we want to get a nice visualization out of this. Uh, in the property panels, uh, I just see the viewport, I just open this menu and I just show, say show inspector uh, panels. And uh, then we are on the panel layout, you can also choose for example like uh, uh, rendering and uh, then you can just define uh, what kind of uh, dimension proportions you want to have. Uh, not so important to me right now but for me it's important that you can see that you can change these things here. I go again right mouse click on perspective and I just say uh, rendered and uh, here we go. I just choose my uh, layers, my uh, layers again and you can change um, uh, the object to a different layer. You just click on the circle and I think it's just, it's just related to my old uh, Macintosh version. I don't have the right operation system. I think it's related to my old uh, version of Apple. Okay, not bad. Okay, layer two. Here we go. So my uh, object is now on layer two. I don't know if to press match. I don't think so. Anyhow, uh, now my object is on layer 2. If I switch on uh, layer 2, let me see. So it was actually layer, layer 1, but anyhow, uh, here we go. If you want to see it in color, you just go into uh, shaded and uh, I just go back again, right mouse click into rendered. And the last thing I want to show you is how to make a, view a viewport uh, 
capture and you just go in this terms not like PC uh, under perspective you just go into display you click on this uh, capture viewport to file and you uh, choose uh, the resolution in this terms uh, 1920 to 1018 and you click on apply and you can just save it as a JPEG on the desktop. Okay, here we go and thanks for watching.